Welcome back everyone, my name is Storm's Fury and this is Zero News. Um, for some of you may know, I, this is supposed to be one of my days off of doing this. And I know there are a few people who go, oh what hard work is it doing that? Well, fuck you for those people, very small amount, amount of people, the rest of you understand. But um, we're going to take a bit of time out and so, um, so before I just go on to a bit of a subject, I just want to say that um, my attempt to take time out has meant that there's actually doubled, well not doubled, but say another third on top of the normal contact I would get. It's like people have deliberately gone out of their way to make sure that I don't get that break. So in the past, I used to do something that I call going dark. That means I'm going off the radar, phones are going off, emails are going off, whether you're a family member or distant stranger, the answer will be the same, off. Um, until I until I've had my rest and I've come back, um, and the reason I'm saying it on here so it's universally understood, nobody been picked on anything like that. But when you've asked nicely for people just to give you a break, and then they then they ramp up stuff, it's like okay, okay. Well, I've been here before, played this game before, and so now I'm going to do the one thing I didn't want to do. Let's just blank everybody. Um, with that said, when I come back. Um, I've been trying to measure my approach with a lot of things. And some people think I've been a coward and some don't. Um, but what I will say is this, as I've said, and I don't want to keep repeating myself, as I said, being bullied into a subject is not free speech. Being bullied away from a subject is not free speech. And I feel like I've experienced both. Um, with, with certain people and groups distancing, distancing themselves from me for, I presume, just having a conversation. Um, it's amazing to me that people don't understand the the quite strong loyalty I have towards people like Tommy and towards certain groups. And it's like, okay, well, if you want to treat me uh, like an outsider and like the enemy, that that's fine with me. Um, I never wanted to be in a group of people that only think one thing anyway. But here's the thing: is that I'm on, I, I, I'm have been on all of your sides. There's many people who, who I still. Uh, relate to and I think they're brilliant people but trying to make an enemy of me or at least an outcast of me for doing nothing more than reaching out and speaking to people who whether you like it or not they're going to get interviews with other people they are getting their voice out and if we're so sure that we're right about so much then our, our um, obligation is to talk to people and to understand the only again the only way to understand the world around you is by interacting with it and there's a lot of changes going on in the political landscape at the moment and you can do two things you can put your finger on the pulse find out what's going on you can fall behind and live in a fucking bubble and a dreamland um and i am not going to be bullied cowed pushed persuaded or anything else by anybody from any side my choice is what I do with my channel and my show are, are, are mine. Um, and I do choose free speech and I do choose to reach out to people when I choose. And at the same time, if anybody wants to threaten me not to speak to a person, um, that says something about your character before we even get down to the actual conversation. So um, it's on other people how they treat me because how you treat me will directly affect how I treat you. Um... So just bear that in mind. With all that said, I don't want to be aggressive and, 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 and nasty and stuff. It's not really why I've come on. Um, I just want to explain that I would be out for a few days. I did thought I thought I explained this well the other day, but now I'm now I'm having to sort of say I really need a break. Yeah, I'm not feeling great. I need a break. And um, so emails, everything will be ignored for the next few days. Um, with that said. Um, like I said, I just talked about this free speech thing. I will be reaching out. And I've decided the thing to do, I'm not going to say too much now, but the thing to do, rather than going through multiple, multiple, multiple people, all with differing spectrums of opinions, go straight to the top and speak to the people that are setting policy. That way we can get to the bottom of what that policy is on certain issues. And again, this we're not just talking about, say, ethno nationalists, for instance. We're talking about every group, religious groups, or, um, political groups, ideological groups, they are all out there to be spoken to. 
whether I like them, hate them, don't have an opinion, or my opinion is just political. Regardless, you need to speak to people you like, don't like, agree with, don't agree with, in order to grow. And um, I think a few people have missed have missed that. And um, again, shame on you. Um, and also, and, and also, thanks for having so much confidence in me. And I know this doesn't apply to most people, so don't think that most people are attacking you. But thanks for having so much confidence in me. You think that I'm that weak-minded that I can't just have a conversation and walk away of it, walk away from it, um, and not not be under a spell. I mean, just you know, thanks. With that said, I also wanted to, I wasn't going to bring it up because other people have you know the Philip Schofield thing, right? And a lot of people have already um, talked about it. I felt what more can I say? And there's not much more I can say, but I am sick to death. I am sick to death of people. Um, saying how brave this man is. There's two things that spring to my mind when I saw this story. One, what's he hiding? Because the last time I saw someone try and pull this off, um, it was because they were trying to hide sex allegations towards them. And I've been hearing some stories, but I can't prove any of them. But so until I can prove any of them, they're not true. But I have been hearing some stories that they're could be the case, but again, until they're verified, don't know. But then none of that matters. What matters is if a man disappeared off after the 27 years to find another woman or just dumped his family, everybody would generally think it was disgusting. Um, but because he's come out as being gay, which is just an old trope now, um, it's he's a brave man. No, he's not. Um, any other man that had um such dereliction duty when it comes to his marriage and family would be considered a piece of shit but because it's to do with being gay and that puts him on the spectrum of of as i said that hierarchy we talked about a long time ago um that that means he thinks that means he's going to get a load of support i have seen it backfire on one person but often it works and it's like to say in this day and age that it's brave to come out and say that you're gay um, I think is a bit of a stretch. Um, there's plenty of conservative gay people, for instance, that don't even they, they mention it in passing if it come if it's part of the, the conversation, but they don't need to make a big deal of it either way. They they are they're gay. They're happy with themselves. We'll make the thing out of it. We'll make a deal out of it. But it's like to actually come out and say, oh, I've I've been with someone for 27 years, had kids, and now I've decided to come out and be honest and say that I'm gay. It's like well, how was that brave? What would have been brave is if he'd done it when he was younger, um, before he got married to someone, wasted their time, possibly ruined their lives and ruined the kids' lives and everything else. Just not because he's gay, but through lying and through through distortion of truth. You know, imagine that. Imagine how that is for... for. I mean, I've spoken to women that have had this happen to them and they feel like worse than almost if they've been cheated on. Some of them feel so absolutely destroyed. Um, but this isn't talked about. And the dereliction of marriage, which is which is something that conservatives used to really believe was an important institution. Um, and he's being applauded for not being brave enough to say, I'm not going to get married when I'm not sure of my sexuality. I'm not going to have kids when I don't know what my sexuality is. Um... Instead of that, he's being called brave for 27 years later, finally having the guts. Um, now he's got nothing to lose to say something. And it's like, wow, aren't you a big man? Perhaps you even should have kept your mouth shut because of the fact that you didn't have the guts to say it when it mattered. Um, right at the beginning of that time where your wife and whatever else, your wife could have gone and found a good man who wouldn't have done this to her. So, brave? No, no, not brave. Actually, I think it's a, a cowardly move to do now. Um, and I know his wife's backing him or whatever. I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for the kids. Not because I'm saying being gay is a terrible thing. Wasting their time knowing he was gay. Wasting their time for 27 years. That is my issue. And yeah, to call a man like that brave in this day and age, I just think is... Is so so typically um, symptomatic of the way that we think now. We think it's compassion to pat someone on the back for being untrue 
potentially unfaithful and um, of having such disrespect and disloyalty. That's how I see it. Um, and wanting their cake and eating it. And I think it's disgusting. And I think that anybody sticking up for him, you know, you want to stick up for his right to be gay, that's fine. But sticking up for him saying, oh yeah, what a brave man to come out after 27 years of lying. It's not brave at all. This is not, this is not the fucking 1920s. Do you know what I mean? Um, especially in his industry, he could have come out ages ago and there would have been no lashback. Um, the only lashback he's getting is from people like me who, who, who see through the bullshit. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm angry at that man. I'm angry at the people that keep going on about him. I think, I think, honestly, I think people should just phase him out, but they won't. Um, so that got on my nerves a bit. And then, see, Danny's dropped out uh, of things. Now, not knowing the intimate score behind that, can't have too many opinions on it because most of the things I know are hearsay, conjecture, stuff like that. I think there was a few things in his message that seemed a bit telling. I think he felt like he'd given support to certain people and he hadn't got it back. That's just from what I read. Um, but I will say this, one criticism... Because the rest of it I don't know about. And it's none of my business. But my only criticism is this. The first thing that should have been brought up is the Patriots Union. And refunds for the people that put into it. And it's the one thing that didn't get mentioned at all. And we keep getting a bad name on our side for the way that we deal with money. Um, and Danny, if you do see this, I'm not having a crack at you, mate. I'm not having a go at you. But the... We are getting so much shit on our side of things for the way that people deal with money. You know, offering refunds. I've done it myself where I've taken money and then haven't been able to make an event. Um, and I've offered refunds or to keep the money for the next event. And sometimes I've just given refunds without asking. Other times I've asked people and they've said keep the money for the next event or whatever. But giving people the opportunity to take that money back when it was for a cause that's no longer going to be pursued, um, and we assume that money's not been spent, um, I just think it would have been a really nice way, if you're going to step down a really nice way to do it, which would have put everyone straight and everyone in their place about how honest that you are and how honest that people in the movement are uh, in terms of saying, right, hands up, we didn't get there, need to give you guys a refund. Um, I've done it. Um, I know it's a slightly bigger scale, but I know other people have done it. It's the right thing to do, at least to offer. Um, so I was disappointed with that. Other than that, I don't know the details. Um, I can understand that maybe Danny has felt a bit left on his own. But let's be honest, 2019, all Danny wanted was to be left on his own. So uh, it, it works both ways. But again, I'm not in issues. Um, you know, I've always had pretty good relationships with Danny he's always been good to me so you know i'm not taking sides or anything like that but there's just a lot of uh fishiness in his message and, and he's done that deliberately he's, he's put that message out with the ambiguity in it because there's more he wants to say obviously um but yeah you know um so yeah you know shame to lose people but at the same time if people aren't committed or they are you know they're not going to be around it's best we know now rather than setting up five more patriotic unions when the heart's not there or whatever, whatever the reason be. So it's best we know now. So I, I applaud him for standing up and saying something about it now. Um, I just feel like the most important things that needed to be addressed weren't. Um, and perhaps they should be. And again, Danny, if you see this, it's not knocking you. It's just about just doing the right thing. Uh, and how it affects every single one of us who are still in the fight. Um, because we get called PayPal Patriots and all the rest of it, and it doesn't help. With that said, I can say I'm taking that time. Um, my free speech is important, but and again, I just want to explain this one last time. The free speech is important to me when people try and stop it, but it's also important to me when people try and push me into doing something that I don't want to do. That's not free speech either. So, some just a just maybe three people could do with just giving me some space and backing off. I've spoken to some other people 
whether it's ethnats, whether it's Jews or other people, and they've all agreed just to back off, give me some space, let me get better, and we can arrange to, to, to talk to different groups of people. That's brilliant. And to all those people who've been patient and who've listened, thank you so much. I really appreciate you giving me that that, that space to breathe. Uh, to the others of all groups that are pressuring me, see where that gets you. Um, but like I say, I'm aiming for the top so that we can we can have a top-down conversation. Um, my mind, sort of, as I've been processing this, I'm thinking that, that there are positive ways in which we can do this. We don't, even if I agree on nothing that, that certain people have to say, it doesn't matter because the conversation's been had. The conversations are for me and for the other person, but they're also massively for you. Um, so whatever comes out of it doesn't matter. It's not about one person destroying the other. It's about you hearing all the information to doing with that information what you decide to do with it. That's the important bit. So I don't really want to influence. Um, I just want to have a conversation, let you see it, make up your own mind. Anybody's got an issue with that, that's on them. I'm just trying to be what I tried to be since the day I came on here, as honest as I can be, as open as I can be, and I will not fly a flag of free speech and then be a fucking hypocrite. Um, yeah, anybody that doesn't like that doesn't have to watch. Um, but to everyone else that's supporting me and supporting my right to free speech, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you in a few days. My name's Storm Shiri. This is Zero News. Watch out for Phillips, Phillips Scumfield. And I'll catch you soon.